Welcome back to the Digilent Physical Computing Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll learn how to configure the Wi-Fi on the Chipkit WF32 to allow LabVIEW to communicate with the Chipkit over Wi-Fi rather than over USB serial. So let's get started by launching LabVIEW, and we'll start by deploying the Wi-Fi firmware to the Chipkit. So in LabVIEW, I'll click Tools, Maker Hub, Links, and Links Firmware Wizard. This will bring up the Lynx firmware wizard that we'll use to deploy the firmware to the chip kit. Under device family, I'll choose Digilent, and then under device type, I'll choose chipkit WF32. Then I'll click next. And in the dropdown, I'll choose the COM port associated with my chip kit. In this case, it's COM6. Then I'll click next. On this screen, I choose the firmware. Before we use the USB serial firmware, but now we want to select the Lynx Wi-Fi firmware. When we do that, we get some configuration options for our Wi-Fi network. First, let's enter the SSID. This is your network name. Then we provide an IP address for the chip kit. You'll need to make sure this is in the correct range for your network and not in use by any other device on your network. I'll use 192.168.1.127. Then we'll choose the security type for your network. I'm using WPA2 password. We choose a port for the chip kit to listen on. I'll use 44300. And unless you have another reason, go ahead and use that same port. And then in the password section, I'll enter my Wi-Fi network password. Then I'll click next. When I do this, you'll see that the lights on the Chipkit WF32 start flashing, and we can see that the firmware is being deployed to the Chipkit. This will take just a minute, so we'll jump ahead to when it's done. Now that the firmware is done deploying, I'll click the Launch Example button to launch an example. This looks just like the other example when we use the serial USB firmware, but you'll notice instead of specifying a COM port, we now specify an IP address and a port. And those are the, the IP address and port that we just specified in the firmware wizard. Before we run this VI, I'm gonna run command prompt and ping the device to make sure it connected to the network. So you can see that the, we're getting replies from the chip kit and we should be ready to run our example. So now I'll enter my IP address, 192.168.1.127, and the port, 44300. Then I'll click Run, and when I click the LED on the front panel, it toggles the LED output on the chip kit. And this is going over Wi-Fi now rather than USB. So we're still drawing power from USB, as you can see on the chip kit here, but if we disconnect that and connect just a power jack, this would still work over Wi-Fi. So I'll stop the VI and let's have a quick look at the code. You'll notice this looks identical to the other Blink example we ran. The only difference is that here on the Lynx init VI, rather than passing in a serial port, we're passing in the IP address and port to listen on. So this is the only change that you need to make to use your Lynx VIs over Wi-Fi rather than serial. So it's really easy to switch back and forth. That does it for our Wi-Fi setup for the Digilent Physical Computing Kit for LabVIEW using the Chipkit WF32. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.